morning and welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel to this week's vlog. Um, I'm Lady Nadra for those of you who are new here. Um, I focus on, you know, this is a lifestyle vlog. It's um, I'm a pastor's wife. I'm a mom. I'm a grandmother. I'm um, a woman of a particular age. So <laughs> if that stuff doesn't interest you, that kind of lifestyle doesn't interest you, then you know, you can click off right here, but <laughs> it's a bunch of lifestyle content. It's stuff about my family, um, fashion, beauty products. Um, I'm on my way to church now, so um, I'm gonna show you show you my outfit real quick. I got this, this it's, like a, it's a dress actually, a baby doll dress from Bloomingdale's Outlet, uh, along with these pants. I don't know if you guys can see, I got these pants on. They're from Zara, they're parachute pants. Um, they're not cargo pants because they don't have a bunch of pockets on them, but they do have this one side pocket. And um, because the dress would normally be short and I'm headed to church, I didn't want to, you know, be inappropriate. I'm a worship leader, so, you know, I can't be clowning <laughs> with this short dress on in front of everybody trying to lead them into the presence of God, you know what I'm saying? No. So, um, I have on these shoes from mm, Balenciaga. These are Balenciaga, and this bag is from Anthropology. Um, my face for the day, I normally wear this, this is my normal face, so if you, if you watch all the time, you notice I have on my Mocha Mommy um, bronzer, and I have that over my eyes as well. But today I did a little something different. I added the um, Fenty Moscow Mule Ginger Binge on my lids. Um, just because this look has, this, this shirt is mauve or pinky. So I wanted to um, add that on my eyes. Um, I actually, this TikTok filter is what inspired me to put my makeup on like this today. So <laughs> um, I got close. I got close to the filter. Um, my lips are lined with Vino from MAC. And I went in the middle with um, Bloodshot by Morphe. It's a bloodshot lip, liquid lipstick from Morphe. So that's my look for today. I'm gonna put on these these um, frames from Dior. I gotta stop myself from wearing these because they're they're nude. You know what I mean? So they're easy to throw on. It's a light tint. It's not heavy. It's yeah, they're easy to. I I can forget I have them on sometimes because they're nice and lightweight. Yeah. So anyway, headed to church. <laughs> Happy, what's today, Tuesday. I'm um, up here to get a float. If you watched last week, you know I missed my float last week, so I'm, um, come on back. I'm up here to get my float um, so I won't lose it. <laughs> I know. I, so I have so many credits and I'm trying to make sure that I don't lose them because you do have to use them by a certain time, so. Z Gallery and I'm looking for stuff. I don't really want anything with like this kind of stuff on it, these little 
but I do want something to put my jewelry in on top of my um, my vanity because I end up kind of like leaving it out. Well, here's something that doesn't have anything on it. Let's see how deep it is. Oh. See, if that was, <laughs> didn't have dominoes in it, that would be good. I could lay my watch in there, or watches in there. I could put longer, chunkier items in there. What about this? I want it to be white, because I want it to be kind of minimal. That's cute, though. If that were white, that would be good. This is cute. And, and deep. Oh, this one's bigger. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like that white, that white domino case. And then I thought about this pillow too. Look at this pillow to add to my bed. I really don't need another pillow in my bed, honestly, but, um, but I don't know what this eye means. <laughs> Look, they got me so sensitive about this stuff. Um, what does that eye mean? I have this pillow already, so I've thought about like adding that because I do have a blue chair in my room. Mm, but that eye is concerning me. But Z Gallery has up to 50% off sale. And they also have, looks like they're still honoring their Memorial Day up to 70% off for Memorial Day in case anybody needs anything from Z Gallery. I had to go back in and ask them for a box. I totally forgot that I parked way on the other side and walked over here. So I just got done floating and last week I showed you guys, you guys me actually floating, but I don't think I told you that it's, what forces you to float is the Epsom salt in the water. And so the Epsom salt uh, is magnesium sulfate and it's a um, pharmaceutical grade of magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt that they use. Um, they actually sell it there at, at float state. Um, and you can put it in your tub. <laughs> but <clears throat> what they do is they put 1,700 pounds into the tank itself. And so that Epsom salt, the buoyancy just, it forces your body to float um, there in the tank. Like there's no way you can push your body down, but it'll pop right back up. So it's the, you know, the concentration that, that forces you to float. Also have that, um, so the water kind of has you feel like you can I can pick it up like it's slimy but it doesn't actually you know drop from your fingers slimy like that it just feels like maybe there's oil in it or something but it's the concentration of the pharmaceutical grade of Epsom salt that makes it feel like that and it also like once once you um, let go you know once you kind of get into a state where you're not moving in the water um, or anything like that you kind of if you feel supported I don't know it feels like you're in the most comfortable bed ever <laughs> um, you know and the whole point of floating is so you don't have any any tension in your body no pressure points or anything like that so you're you're just kind of, you know, suspended on this cloud feeling thing. That's how that's how it feels to me. But the minute you start thinking about it and you, you know, move or, you know, get any tension in your body, it goes away completely. It's the craziest thing. So, um, I enjoy float. I floating. I have um I have, they told me today that I have three credits and I'll gain a fourth one because I'll be billed at the end of the month. But I've been, I hadn't, I paid for it, 
monthly, but I haven't been going. So that's how I collected so many credits. But I really do enjoy it when I go. So I'm going to start, you know, going more. And I actually have been um, sending people in, you know, the guy today, he was like, uh, oh, you finally came in. You've been sending people in here. They use your name a lot. <laughs> code. I put my code on the screen. Um, and you can go in and you can get, I forget how much you get off, but to float, I think it's like $79 and it may be 49 or 59 or something like that on your first visit, but, um, you can still get a discount if you use my code at float state, but it, even if you don't go to float state, try it, look for one in your area. Um, it's like. If you're comfortable, now I'm noticing people have to be comfortable being in the dark with no sight, no sound. That kind of gives some people anxiety to be able to, um, you know, unplug like that. It they don't they don't like it. <laughs> like my niece, she was saying, mm, I don't know, I suffered with the intrusive thoughts. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh yeah, I get it, but. Once you're able, especially the first time, you're going to do that because you're kind of like wondering what's going to happen, what's next, what's, what am I, you know, and there's nothing, you're doing nothing. You're literally doing nothing for at least 50 minutes. You're literally expecting nothing. You see nothing. You hear nothing. Unless you leave the light on. If you leave the light on, then you can see. Um, but the point of it is to deprive yourself of all of your senses. That's the whole point. So if I went in there, I would do the full experience. Turn the lights off, you know, and it's kind of like you have to train yourself to be in there. Train yourself to, to unplug and to ditch all your thoughts, you know, concentrate. Like the girl told me, she said um, on my second float, she said, just concentrate on your hearing yourself breathe because you, you're underwater so you can hear, you know, everything internal. So concentrate on hearing your breath, the rhythm of your breath, and your heartbeat, you know. And that definitely works. When you center in on that, then you can kind of block everything else out. So I got in there and I prayed and I thank God for my life, you know, my family, my, um, my church, you know, I was just, I was just, that's where I started off and I had a, a song that was just rolling over in my spirit and I just, um, I used that time to just focus on God, honestly. And, and then I, once I stopped praying, I just started, you know, hearing the rhythm of my my heartbeat and concentrating on my breathing and stuff and then you know next thing I knew I was kind of waking up I think I went to sleep for a second and then that I was waking up so I almost had it I got um I'm up here at home goods I just got um two chairs and a little table so the the one chair fit in the back of my car and the little table, it's like a round table. It fit in my car. I almost had, it's just one more chair. Almost had it in. The lady in there, she doubted me. She was like, I don't think it's gonna fit in your car. <laughs> These luxury cars, blah, 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 and all that. And I'm like, yeah, I know my car. <laughs> I know what I could get in it. I thought I was gonna be able to get this last chair in there though, I really did, because can you guys see? Like, but now I'm waiting on Mark. Mark is coming up here, so we'll be able to get in his car. I just didn't want to hear, have to hear his mouth about what he had to get done. I got Mama's um, <laughs> the pins in the back seat. I had those in my trunk, and then the chair. But the chairs are so cute to me; they're so funky fresh. So I got to go get a. Uh, a pad for my bench that I have. Hi. A pad for my bench. And then maybe some pillows or something to put in these chairs. Then, um, when I get some more money, then, then I'll go. I, I think I'm going to need a, um, I don't think I need an umbrella because we have 
a cover over it, a temporary cover now, but um, once I start to do the other side of the patio, I will need an umbrella for that side because there's no cover on that side. But yeah, fire pit, y'all see the vision? So it took both of us and of course, you know, he's like, oh, I gotta go do such and such. I, you know, he always makes it seem like it's just such an inconvenience to do all this stuff, you know? Cause he knows I probably would have him running over here and running over there and doing this. Sometimes he'll do it. I just gotta catch him in the mood, you know? <laughs> so they got a couple little tables over here at Lowe's. Um, I came in here to look for a, uh, like price a fire pit, but that was cute. That was a cute little table. Um, table and chairs, you know, nothing. I don't need anything fancy, smancy, just something to sit down at and take up that space over there. I'm definitely going to need a umbrella. Look at this one, guys. Look at this one. It has the LED lights under it. This is fancy. It's kind of fresh too. That's where I was <laughs> I would say spend money on something like this. Look at that. That's cute, huh? And uh, the pole is off to the side. It's not in the middle. Um, in the middle of it. But I think that's pretty dope. How much is this? Five hundred dollars. That's where they lose me. I'm gonna look on Amazon and see what I see in terms of umbrellas and probably even fire pits. I don't need anything fancy there either. I just need something that's gonna burn a little, a little fire. I know they have the um, the electric ones. I'm not looking for anything like that. But I don't know. Maybe I'll price them and see. Like, where are the flipping fire pits? Are they outside? I mean, I thought they would be here with the patio furniture and stuff. And then I don't even see anybody to ask. Let me look outside. I don't see them. Excuse me, where would the fire pits be? You don't know either? Which <laughs> one? Which which one? Yeah, sorry, please. Just the little yeah. this, I mean I wanna see what you got. I don't know. Which one I want. I looked inside but I don't see any. I need to know where they are. That's what I'm asking you, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. He comes showing me something looking like a furnace. <laughs> he didn't know either. That's really what the bottom line was. Okay, so we got a few here. Um, yes. Uh, I mean, one of the, the wood burning fire pits for like $129. Um, and then the gas fire tables they started i think i saw one for like 329 uh all the way up to 500 so um i would need a small one so i think i saw one for 299 i'm lying i saw one for 299 and um that's not that bad but for the convenience you know what i'm saying of of just lighting it with a fire starter versus having to keep buying them um, Duraflame logs and all that kind of stuff and then cleaning it out. I'm leaning more towards the fire table. <laughs> I just got to get one small enough to to not take over my space. You know, oh, I don't think I took you guys into Kirkland's with me. I went to Kirkland's and got a few pillows and um, that's really what I got was pillows. Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's thankful Thursday, y'all. Um, I'm 
headed out the door. We're going to, I'm actually on my phone. I woke up early, but I didn't wake up early enough. We're going to a graduation, our God baby's graduation. So we are, um, good morning. <laughs> so I'm um yeah I'm headed in that direction. Mark is outside waiting for me. I made it, I'm in the car. I took too long. Did I take too long? I'm recording. We we rolling. He knew I was recording, so he gave me a good answer. <laughs> he was a little irritated. I'm going to the car. In 700 feet, <laughs> turn right onto <laughs> Copper Sky. I'm not late. We'll see what you think It's 10, 10 miles away, but it says 23 minutes. Turn right onto Copper Sky. Okay, let me show you guys what I picked up for out here so far. Um, I'm definitely not done. I think I told you guys that I was just getting started with this. I already had this bench. We got this from Target when we lived in the townhouse. Um, and it has chairs that go with it, but they are on the front porch. Um, at this house, the, the porch called for chairs, so. I took those two chairs and put them out in, out front. And then there was, it came with white cushions. Um, of course they got, you know, beaten by the, the dust over there because they had just started building right across the street. But nonetheless, um, I just went to Target and picked these up, these two. Now, if you look closely, <laughs> they don't really match. But I like the size and the feel of the cushion, so I went ahead and got them. And because um, I'll probably change this this out, I bought this, but as you can see, it's too small. I bought that from Kirkland's yesterday, and uh, it's too small. So, but I couldn't tell. I didn't have it with me, and I couldn't tell what colors. But I felt like the green would be close enough to kind of complement these pillows which if you put take away the stripes and put this you know this part it kind of ties in so i since i like the size and the feel of those i went on and got those and um they're gonna work fine um i bought this poof just because we have one on our old patio which um i replaced when we moved here because i like it um, I got it sitting right here in the middle right now just because um, just because but I'm gonna put it <laughs> um, it'll probably be over off to the side over there uh, more on that end for just you know extra an extra seat um, my plan is to get like I showed you guys from yesterday the um, the gas fire table that's what I plan to get for here, which I may have to push all this stuff out a little bit more. 
but I do have room to do this. These are the chairs that I got from um, Home Goods yesterday. And the pillows came from Kirkland's. That little thing right there came from Target. Um, I figure I could put like my fire starter in there. Should I have candles out here or whatnot? Um, probably gonna go get the little I don't see the Coca-Cola one out here. I may have to get, like they had a blue um, ice chest, uh, little like standing ice chest. They had one of those over there at Home Goods, so I may go back and get that. And so on that end, over there is where I plan on putting like an umbrella and um, a long table. Um, and then I'll get the little cornhole game um, maybe just a few things to occupy people if they're out here. Not that we're going to have, the, you know, big parties and nothing like that, but, um, you know, maybe something a little set with some stools, um, out here. That's the plan. That's the vision. Um, yeah. So we're going places, y'all. We're going places. When, once it warms up, by the time it warms up, we should be, we should be good. Perfect. I'm walking in the mall and the girl comes running up to me from Bottega Veneta. She's like, Nadra, Nadra, I have the, um, I have the Bottega drop earrings. And I'm like, see, these are the dupes that I have from Anthropology that I have on. And she's like, I have them, I have them. And I'm like, you have the big ones? She said, no, I have the small in the gold and the silver. I'm like, I don't want the small ones. She's like, well, they're still a good size, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I already have a dupe for those, and they're fine. I want the big ones. So when you get the big ones, you have my number. Let me know. And uh, I still ain't paying. <laughs> I still am not paying that much. But I did want to see them. I want to see them. You know, and see how heavy they are. Um, I've already seen a couple of people say that they maybe dropped theirs or they fell or something. And um, one girl said that the, the back on it is not stable. And so it's not, you know, um, tight enough. And so you would have to change out the back of the earring because hers fell. And then when it fell, it dented. So that made me not want to buy them because it's like, who wants to pay? I think they were like twelve hundred some dollars for um for an earring, and I don't want to see a man in this little jumpsuit. Um, yeah, I don't want to see that. Before I say anything, now they need my raw, my raw feelings. Okay, so the new MFK, what is it called? Um, Aqua, Aqua Media. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So you see, the packaging is green, and it definitely smells evergreen and lemonish. It smells lemony. Look, smell that. Very you smell, much so. You Very smell lemon? So. I did. Mm -hmm. It is. Has lemon and, and tree-ish. Moss. <laughs> Moss? Okay, okay. Moss. Mm. It has some bergamot in it, so it's a little brightness to it. But it really has a lot of grain to it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let it sit for a little while before I give you guys my yeah. my <laughs> final thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like the Delina Ariana. I mean, uh, not Delina. Um, or, perfume no, by Parfums Marley. Parfums de Marley Ariana. Perfume Perfume de Marley Ariana. I like that one too. Um, marshmallows. Mm -hmm. It's going marshmallow as it as it um. Guys, Happy Friday, y'all. 
why do I say happy Friday? You're probably not watching this on a Friday, but it's Friday. The day that I'm recording this is Friday. And I got this dress. I wanted to show you guys this dress. <clears throat> I'm just now coming on to talk to you guys. But I went to Zara and I got this dress. Very, very cute. Um, it's a slip dress. And it's a pretty long one. Um, it's a pretty long one, so um, it's in an extra large. I, as I'm doing this, I probably could have gotten a double X. We'll see what it say once I put it on. But um, it's a little bit revealing in the back, so I know I'll have to wear something over it. But I always wanted a slip dress. And um, Zara does them pretty well. So this top part, if you can see, the whole back looks like it's out. And my back ain't set up like that. So <laughs> I definitely got some rolls and stuff over here. Something just got me sneezing. That's why my nose is um, running. But so summer trends, metallics are going to be big this summer but <clears throat> um i'm not sure if i'm in the age bracket to pull that off really well maybe just a shirt or something like that but not a full-on dress so i took the opportunity because this one has that shine can you see <clears throat> it has like a metallic kind of silver um print on it and um you know, this should fulfill the trend, <laughs> the 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 um, metallic trend. So that's why I picked up this dress. I thought this would be cute with a little, either a denim blazer or even a black, my black oversized blazer, or something else, even something white. Um, yeah, this gray, gray with silver metallic on it. And once I do my hair fresh. It'll be nice and platinum. And, um, yeah. I thought this is a cool little, little find. The armholes are cute. Um, like I said, that back part, it looks like the, the, the holes end right where my roll starts. So that's not going to be cute. But I will cover it up. Um, then I got... <coughs> excuse me. Whatever that was that got me, got me. Um, my allergies. I got a bunch of samples and I just went through them and because I always tell my essays that I have my daughter and my granddaughter they always like to have my samples so um, these are the ones that I decided to keep so I have um, mood satin oud or oud satin mood this is the one I have oh this is the one I have already it's fine. Um, I just want, I thought it was just the satin, satin oud, I think it is. Um, and then this one is the, I think it's, no, it's not Ariana. This, I think this is the Tom Ford one. They made me bed, the gray vetiver. They just re released gray vetiver, and um, Dina made me a couple of these. She sprayed it on this hand, and it smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. It looks like, it feels like it needs, it smells like it needs, I said everything, looks, feels. It smells like it needs a little bit of help, like it would be a good base fragrance. So I don't know if I would buy that one for that. Then I got um, Ariana by Parfum de Marley. Um, that's the one that they make Delina and Delina me and Delina didn't really get along too well you know I don't know all the all the other girls liked her but yeah it didn't I actually bought it because it smelled good in the store but then it didn't last on me it didn't um it didn't keep giving so we'll see and then I really like this Ariana I was watching what's her name um, Monica from Odd by Monica. I follow her on here on YouTube, and I was watching her and her one of her girlfriends 
they were talking about this Ariana by De Marley um, Parfums, Parfums De Marley and um, so I went in there specifically well not specifically I went for Tay Noir which I'll show you in a minute but I went in there <clears throat> with this in mind to try and um, is that this one or that's what this is this on my hand is the one that I said is all right because it starts off very candy sweet and then it kind of goes marshmallowy which to me gives pink sugar and look <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to you know throw shade at pink sugar because I like pink sugar I honestly do um I bought my daughter a bottle and I feel like if I put maybe like that um, some, some kind of base layer, if I put that under the pink sugar, it'll be this. And so that's why, I don't know, it's just, I smell it, but it's not strong enough. So it needs help is what I'm saying. But I think I can make that work with pink sugar. Because I like the fragrance. It's just not strong enough. And she sprayed it like two or three times on my hand. So that's Ariana by Parfums de Marley. So if you like something that's a little bit softer but sweet, maybe you could try it. Um, because it does smell good. That's a great bed of her. Um, then she gave me Libre by YSL. Um, I don't know what those two are. And then the Oud Satin Mood. So those are the ones that I kept <clears throat> for the girls. I got them the stuff that I um, either have or didn't want, which was I have um, MFK Gentle Fluidity. And what else? I'm telling you guys about this perfume. I'm actually going to do a... Um, uh, summer perfume haul or, or summer perfume favorites so that I'm, a, I'm probably going to talk about all these perfumes and stuff in that video so I'm going to cut that off and just show you what I did get I got my bottle refilled for Le Labo Te Noir they gave me a new label and they mixed up a, a new um a new they put they made the fragrance right there for me and so what he said was it may it needs a maceration to go through it needs to go through the, through the maceration process I've never heard of that before but that was what he said he said um, Le Labo's fragrances go through a maceration process so if they have a ready ready-made bottle and you buy a ready-made perfume it's nine times out of ten already gone through the maceration process but since he just made this one he said it could take from two days to two weeks to actually get its real fragrance for everything to really settle in which is fine um i haven't sprayed it yet to see i don't have a free spot let me see to see what it what it's giving but um yeah, I can smell the alcohol in it for right now. But I do smell the fragrance. That's good. Hands are dry on the side. Anyway, um, yeah, it's good. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So, it'll just be sitting around going through the maceration process. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. It said that other fragrance houses really don't do that. That's something unique to Le Labo. Um, and then I got Angel. This is my jam. This is, I used to wear Angel so long ago and I have always loved it. I was looking for something sweet to add to my, to my rotation in there. And, um, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give Angel a try again. I'm going to wear that again because why not? Angel by Terry Mugler. 
or it just says new glare now. It used to say Terry on the like theory or something like that. That's how they spelled it. But it's Terry Mugler. And um this is my jam. It's a sweet fragrance. So if you don't like sweet, don't even try it. But if you're walking through, this is um this is a fragrance that is kind of below the luxury line, but it still gives. So please forgive any of the background noise you hear. I had to open the windows because it's hot in here. The air conditioner is loud and I didn't want this fan to be spinning <laughs> in the shot because you can see it in the mirror. So anyway. I have to re-record my favorite fragrance video because my lip gloss was gathering in the corners of my lips. The whole video is scrapped. Okay, y'all, so I'm finished filming my my video, my um, fragrance video. I'm gonna put all my stuff away and um, take this makeup off. I'm not gonna wear this makeup all day. Although, later on today, we are going to dinner. Let me turn the light on. We are going to dinner at Lavo. Um, Jalen and Tierra are treating Mark and I to Lavo, and um, that is in, I think it's in Beverly Hills, I'm not sure. It's either Beverly Hills or LA. So we're going out there a little later on. I think Brianna is going with us too. Morgan has to work. And I guess I should open. <laughs> I got a, a new bottle of this gentle fluidity, y'all. This is my jam. I got a new bottle of it, so I guess I'll open it. I also got this bottle refilled. I think I told you guys I got this bottle refilled from my Le Labo Te Noir, Te Noir uh, 29. I got that refilled yesterday. I'm so excited to have it back. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.